Greetings from Shed Sound Studio here in rural West Virginia. My name is Ian Beabout, and today I thought I would tell you about a brand new release which has just come out um, from Dave Newhouse's Illegal Aliens Project. Um, now, this is a collection of recordings that were done on, I believe, like a 7-inch reel-to-reel machine or something like that. Um, I think they were done multi-track, like four-track, and transferred to cassette. So um, I did the cassette transfer, um, and I've prepared a short little video for you, um, which you're about to see, all about the making of this. Once you've seen that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you more about the CD copy. All right, so I'm going to take you step by step through a restoration of a cassette tape. And uh, this tape belongs to Dave Newhouse, formerly of the Muffins. And the uh, tape you're about to see restored is um, the second in a series called Illegal Aliens and it is entitled The Round Window. Now, these are recordings dating back to 1974 and uh, going up through 1981. So this is sort of Muffin's prehistory, as well as being kind of on the periphery. Right before Mana Mirage um, and, um, you know, a few years after 185. And um, so it, it's pretty interesting. I think most of the muffins appear here. Um, also, Steve Feigenbaum um, of Wayside Music and Cuneiform Records. Um, and Michael Bass, who you may remember, I mastered his Better Living Through Chemistry album. Um, so as you can see here, the tape deck that I have is a Yamaha TC-1000. And, um, yeah, I'm very happy with the sounds that I'm getting out of this guy. You'll see here that I have a eighth inch to quarter inch um, auxiliary cable. And um, one side of it is coming from the back of the tape deck. And the other side, as you can see, is labeled one and two, are going to be plugged into my interface, which is a scarlet. So we're going to set the gains on both the left and right channels. Um, I usually go for about halfway and try to line those up as best I can. Um, so yeah, we're gonna boot up the Mac here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new session in Pro Tools. And once we have that up, um, we're going to add two mono tracks, uh, one for each the left and right of the tape deck. And we're going to arm these tracks and start recording. So I always start recording before I go out in the other room and um, get the tape playing. Um, as you can see here, I have a message from Dave Newhouse. Uh, Campbell, why don't you put that up on Still Store? Hey, Ian, hope you are safe and well. As promised, here is that second hand systems cassette that I would love for you to work your magic on. I will send along the song list later in an email or message. No rush on this. Take your time and make this sound awesome. Thanks, Dave Newhouse. All right, so I'm going to try my best. Now, uh, this is the tape that he sent me. Um, it appears to be a, uh, Maxell tape. And, um, I think Dave told me he actually used to dub these tapes on the very machine that I have. And a lot of these recordings are actually, uh, four track recordings and, and they're, it's surprising, you know, how clear they sound and how well balanced they sound. So we're going to power up the tape deck and, uh, insert the tape on side A and uh, push play from the beginning of the tape. So uh, you want to make sure that you mix the left and right channels properly. And uh, as you can see, the recording is well underway. Once I transferred it on my machine, 
Um, I did a number of EQ and mastering tricks on the recordings. I divided each one up into individual tracks so that you could select. And uh, Dave decided he liked the results so well that he pressed it to disc. And uh, this comes out March 5th. Um, and it's got absolutely stunning artwork by Eric Kearns. And as you can see here, it's like a gatefold sort of thing. And you can see all of the musician credits and pictures of the players. And this nice little back sleeve um, with all the pertinent logos from Finbot to Shed Sounds to Newhouse Music. I hope you do get a chance to check this out and uh, let me know what you think. It should be out on Bandcamp on March the 5th where you can purchase it and also get a physical CD copy. Um, I'm, of course, very proud of my work here. I listened to this last night, and this is for people who like um, 70s Soft Machine and uh, Miles Davis and his fusion period. I, I think if, if you're into that kind of, like, hardcore jazz fusion um this release is for you all right um that's it for me for today my name is ian be about and um yeah please if you get a chance to hear this let me know what you think in the comments i would love to hear from you bye bye